everybody. We're back with Ambassador John Bolton, author of The Room Where It Happened. Let's talk about corruption. Uh, at one point, you talked to Bill Barr, uh, Attorney General Bill Barr, about Trump's willingness to interfere in companies like investigations into Hulk Bank, uh, Turkish company, ZTE and Huawei for, for uh, Xi. And you say it looked like obstruction of justice uh, was a way of life for the president. Is the president corrupt? Well, I think what he has done consistently, and it's, uh, it's certainly a form of corruption, is use the legitimate powers of the United States government uh, for personal advantage. I, I don't think it's corruption in the financial sense. I think it's corruption for political power. Uh, I think that's in part what was happening in the Ukraine uh, uh, scenario, and I think it was happening in these, in these others as well. Now, I have to say, I know bits and pieces of what happened, but I certainly don't know uh, the entire story. And it's entirely possible there's more uh, that's taken place, not just in the international field, but in the domestic field that, that I'm completely unaware of. Uh, well, I would, I would uh, submit, for lack of a better word, that the financial gain has nothing to do with corruption. It's personal gain of any kind if you abuse your office to do so. And do you think that should be investigated? Yes, I, I, th these are. Th this is the reason that I, I passed on what I knew, what I had seen to the Attorney General. I passed it on to the White House Counsel. Uh, I wasn't trying to do everybody else's job for him. I had plenty I was responsible for, uh, and I felt that uh, that I had I had done what I should do. I told others on my staff at different points to make sure the lawyers were informed. Talk to others in the White House and. Uh, uh, that's what I did. And as far as you know, did Bill Barr take any action? Well, I don't know, but I wouldn't expect to know. I don't, I don't think I need to be kept informed if there are investigations underway. Whether there are or not, I don't know. Okay, you criticized Pompeo, Mulvaney, Giuliani, Kushner, and Mnuchin. If you had to pick one to kick off the island, who's the worst? Let's dish, girl. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. look, I think uh, uh, I, I detail many of the differences with, uh, with, uh, with the, the people you've named. Uh, I, think, I think the one who did the most policy damage was Steve Mnuchin. Uh, I think oh, he's really? unwilling to put adequate pressure on Maduro in Venezuela, on, uh, on China, on Russia, on Turkey, on North Korea. Uh, I think it's You just, call him something unforgivable. You say he's basically a Democrat. Uh, that's, uh, I think, very clear. What's worse, him or Giuliani, who you called a hand grenade? Well, look, Rudy is not part of the government, and and that that is that is a that is an apples to oranges comparison. Uh, but I think a problem that the president was continually relying on people who were not part of his administration, uh, and it was a it was a functioning of governmental authority outside of the normal channels. Ambassador, we have to take a quick break, but stick around, everybody. When we come back, I'll ask the ambassador about Ukraine impeachment and why he never testified. Stick around.